Hello everyone, glad to have you here. Today we've created a DIY mosquito killer lamp that's both smart and effective. Just attach the charger, and with a quick press of the switch, the device powers on. The UV LED emits a specific type of light that effectively attracts mosquitoes and other flying insects. We check it after some hours. Let's take a look at the results. Now, I'll open the door of the device and show you the inside. Just look at how many mosquitoes it has trapped. So friends, this clearly shows that our device is working perfectly. To make it, we used a 12 volts DC fan, a charger, a UV LED, a switch, a female socket, and some cardboard. Friends, we've used a cardboard piece of a specific size, but you can adjust it based on how big or small you want your device to be. We made two cuts in the cardboard, one small and one large. The smaller cut is where we'll place the mosquito net, or you can also use a narrow strip instead. So I decided to use a narrow strip for this part, and I'm securing it firmly in place using a hot glue gun. The glue helps create a strong bond, making sure the strip stays attached properly and holds up during use. As you can see, the narrow strip is neatly and firmly attached. Now, we'll move on to fixing the 12 volts DC fan. Using a hot glue gun, we'll secure it properly to ensure it stays in place and works effectively. Alright friends, now we're moving on to assembling the entire cardboard structure. We'll begin by joining all the individual pieces together carefully. The larger section of cardboard will be placed at the top, which will hold the main components like the fan and UV lights, while the smaller section will be positioned at the bottom to allow airflow and support the insect trap. Each piece will be firmly attached using a hot glue gun to ensure everything stays in place and the structure remains strong and stable during use. Take your time with the alignment so the final build looks neat and functions well. Once all the cardboard pieces are properly assembled and secured in place. Alright friends, now let's move on to the wiring section of the project. In this setup we've used a female socket, which we've secured in place using hot glue for a firm hold. After that, we install the switch. Once both components are in place, the next step is to use a soldering iron to make clean, secure connections. Proper soldering is important to ensure everything works smoothly and safely. Now it's time to move on to the wiring where we'll connect everything to the 12 volts DC fan. Once the connections are properly made and secured, we'll proceed to attach the cardboard panel. To do this, we'll use a hot glue gun to firmly fix the cardboard in place making sure it aligns correctly and provides strong support for the overall structure. This step not only secures the build, but also gives it a clean and finished look. Friends, it's very important to apply the hot glue properly and carefully at this stage. When working with cardboard, if the glue isn't applied evenly or in the right amounts, the joints can come loose over time. Once the glue has been applied, the next step is to place two pieces of cardboard, one on the top and the other at the bottom. These pieces help to enclose the structure and give it proper shape and support. To start, hot glue the bottom cardboard piece into place. Ensure it's correctly aligned and press it down firmly for a secure, strong base. Now it's time to cover the opening using a cardboard piece. Just like you're seeing here, it'll seal everything up nice and clean. We've completed that part. A small cardboard piece is added to act as an opening lid. And now we're moving on to the top section. Here we'll attach the upper cardboard piece and right at the center of it we'll fix the UV LED light using a hot glue gun for a secure hold. Next we'll complete the wiring using a soldering iron to create strong and reliable connections. Next, we attach the top cardboard piece using a hot glue gun to ensure a firm and stable fit. After assembling all the components and completing every step, our mosquito killer device is finally ready and fully functional. It's now all set for use. Friends, I truly hope you found this project useful and interesting. I'll continue bringing more videos like this for you all, filled with new and creative ideas. If you have any suggestions, feedback or project ideas, feel free to share them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'd also love to hear your thoughts so feel free to drop a comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and take care friends.